Man, turn that shit out. Give me some, give me some black picnic instrumentals, man. The black market about to be back open. See, that's what I'm talking about. Jay, when you ever had a luxury picnic? I'm talking about it's laid out, beautiful. When I say picnic, how many people you thinking? Nope. 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 That's selfish. Selfish. That's a date, ain't it? That's a little date nick. That ain't a picnic. Well, look here, man. It don't even matter what you think you know. Because I got an expert in here with us today. All the way from St. Louis. Yeah. Been in Atlanta, though. Been in Atlanta for a little minute. Forever. So it's kind of like half and half. Mm-hmm. And your name Nelly. Yeah, well, my first name is Linnell. My family calls me Nelly. See? So, yeah. Well, welcome to the black market. We're going to get it out right into it. Look right into the camera and introduce yourself and tell them. I didn't want to spoil the surprise. I got all the info. Yeah, OK. So my name's Linnell, and I'm the owner of the Garden Party Atlanta. And we do luxury picnics, small events, and charcuterie boards. Come on. And so if. And, for those that who don't know what a luxury picnic is, it's a laid out picnic, kind of a picnic on steroids. Right. So just imagine a low, kind of like this size table, maybe a little bit lower, and we do have high standard tables as well, with a tablecloth, with your wine glasses, a full tablescape, you got your music, your Bluetooth going, it's just a vibe. So if you haven't had a luxury picnic, you definitely have to check us out. It could be intimate, just date night for two, or all the way up to 20 people if you want to do like baby showers, birthdays, anniversaries. And can I ask you this? Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of baby shower food. Just the food, though. Could I, could I book an event just for the baby shower food with no baby involved? I wear a Burberry shirt. But... You could do whatever you want. Right. We got you. You want meatballs? Hell yeah! We got your meatballs. Meatballs, Rotel, wings. Some of them little sausages on the stick. Oh, well, yeah. all that. All that to let people know that it was a baby shower. But just the food, though. Mm -hmm. I might invite like two or three pregnant women who didn't get to have one. Oh, that would be nice. hard. Oh, can we wrap off camera about just doing baby showers for people who don't have no baby daddy? That's dope. Give him back. You throw, the, you throw the baby shower. I show up, wear the Burberry shirt. <laughs> they rent me for the however many hours she needs to get these daddy? pictures. I show what up about. I show up for say four hour block. You get what I'm saying? I I'm hired it. to fill in. I like it. Yeah. Rent and if she, daddy. if it's a chance that her and her baby daddy might get back together, we'll do two sets of pictures. One with me, one with that. This could be big. Yeah. This could be big. So what inspired you to, to create this? Well, I was working in corporate American hospitality, and I lost my job due to COVID. And then I really wasn't able to find another job because hospitality is all I knew. I started when I was 17 in hospitality, and I ain't going to say my age, but yeah. I've worked all my life from started on the phones as a PBX operator all the way up to the corporate level. So it's really all I knew. And then when there weren't any hospitality jobs, I had to kind of figure out what I was going to do. And I was like, this is the perfect time to invest in myself and invest in a business. Right. So I came up with the garden party because I like to... I like to provide experience for people and make them happy and try to take them out the norm, have them experience something different. So I use my hospitality experience, my sales and marketing, my customer service to provide a great experience for us. What are some of the strange things people have called to add to their party list? <laughs> Get nothing strange. Really? I don't think it's that nobody type of never party. hit you back like you think you can bring some of them long lighters so we can light some candles or nothing mm -hmm. like that. No, I think the last most, minute request to me the strangest thing is when people try to bring their own plates to get a discount. Like I'll bring my own plates or I'll bring my own dishes. I'm like mm, that's not really how this works. Right. It's not so, the yeah. dishes that we're charging you for, baby. Yeah. So I think that's it. But we don't really get any strange requests. 
Who taught you how to make roses out of pepperoni? Well, actually, YouTube, TikTok, and I have to give a shout out to Bougie Grazer, which is my friend that has a um, charcuterie class. But yes. A um, class? Yeah, they have classes that, she, that teach charcuterie. I'm actually going to be doing a class this year. I don't have the date yet, so I'll keep you posted. You, you can do it class? here. Do it here? Do it here. I'm going to hold you to it. You do it here. We'll record that shit and put it on the app. I'm going to hold you to it. That'll, right in here. We'll move everything out the way. There's enough space. Ain't it? Yeah. There ain't going to be a whole bunch of... I can see it. So speaking of, what did you what did you have for us today? Yeah, I brought some stuff to see if you could, you know, try it out. Have you had <laughs> charcuterie before? Yes. Oh, okay, so you're already a fan. So I want you to try out my favorite bite. So it's the cracker, it's the turkey pepperoni, the habanero cheese, and the strawberry with honey on it. You gonna try it? I will. Minus the cheese. You don't you don't do cheese? No, it's just habanero. Oh, it's all right. I got no, try the goat cheese. This is goat cheese with everything's uh, seasoning on it. Try that. You know. So, okay. the cracker, the turkey pepperoni, the goat cheese, and a strawberry with honey. Oh, hold on. I'm doing this show ghetto. I ain't even using my little spoon. But ain't nobody oh, else here. Gotcha. J-O-N, where your little spoon, man? I was, I want to offer you some charcuterie, my boy. Hey, you gonna try some? Anybody want to come up here and join in with us right quick? This is what it's all about. Yeah. We'll see. We'll turn this to a party. You bring some more. Hold on. Wait, wait. Back up. Back up. <laughs> wait a minute. I ain't ready yet. You got some more of these little spoons? Uh, I do. Over on that table over there. Oh, we turn this. This is this, this a whole event and right And some here. more plates over there, too. Drop the, tell them the info where they can find you and all that. You can find me on Instagram at garden underscore party underscore Atlanta. So yes, and our website is www.gardenparty, I'm sorry, thegardenpartyalanta.com. How far in advance do people need to hit you to book? Uh, we prefer five days in advance. But so we, I couldn't know, just be like, I'm feeling real charcuterie today. I'm calling up Garden Party Atlanta. You can do that. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, uh, we do do last minute. Just hit us up, and if we're available, we can do last minute. Tell me some good things to put on your board. Like if I was at the crib and I was just, you know, just looking around and I wanted to throw something together real quick, I might have a few little items. Yeah, you always want to do something, a little range or something. You always have to have your fruit. So definitely your fruit, your meat. This is a uh, turkey bacon and this is herb coated salami. You also have to have your cheeses, of course. You want to have a soft cheese and then a hard cheese. You can't forget your chocolate, your chocolate and your nuts. Chocolate and, and your nuts. <laughs> Yeah, and oh, whoa, you have to have your honey. So everybody, you have to drip the honey. The honey, honey. The honey, yes. the honey pack? Yes, you gotta have the honey. You're not doing it right if you're not dripping the honey. <laughs> <laughs> Talk your shit. <laughs> no, but I want, I do want everybody to come up here and get, you know, I want the whole experience. I want yeah. you to leave with just a board. You don't yeah. even have to put it back up. So we're gonna invite everybody Bring them little spoons. Did they bring the little, sp the little spoon? No, he has one there. Look, he all running. Stop running in here. <laughs> Give those to her. She's going to handle this for us. She's going to make everybody. No, but you know what? Everyone has to make their own. It's so much you could change how you want it. I don't Put the wanna... hand sanitizer right here first, and then we'll let. So we're going to keep this running, because I want you to see how the mood of the room changes once we start getting down on this board. All types of cheese and fruit. Come on, man. Dad, you first? Yeah, I'm gonna go first. All right, bet. Mm -hmm, there you go. Come on, y'all. Don't be shy. Everybody wants some. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great, there's some almonds on here. You can eat the almonds. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and some flatbread with feta and garlic. Little cheese sauce. Make the one you wanted me to try. Okay. Come on, Jay. I do. Now y'all gonna try the honey, or y'all gonna act funny? No, we like honey. Okay. You know what the honey is? This is the goat cheese right there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. How you get this off? You just pull it. 
I told you, man, we're doing big things over here on the black market, man. The black market is incomplete without stopping through the food court. Mm-hmm. So that's that's a cracker, goat cheese, pepperoni, strawberry. Now, hold on, let me drip this honey, because you know when you on. drip the honey, you honey gotta drip, drip the honey. <laughs> How did you grip. put this together, though? When did you find out that this was your one? Well, you know, it goes hand in hand with picnics. You got to have something. Like, charcuterie is perfect for outdoor picnics, so it goes hand in hand. This is actually our top add-on. We actually have private chefs. Shout out to my chef, Christina, and we have Thank photographer, you. chef, I mean, um, Evan from Clever Photography. But we have several add-ons that you can add on. So, like, if you don't, you're not feeling the charcuterie, we can have a chef come and cook right in I'll front of you for your picnic. House. There you go. You got a chef, too? Yes. Our chef is wonderful. I'm going to bring her up here. You should. Yeah, I have her cook for y'all. You know, this is my third charcuterie board I done brought up here. Did you see the one I made with the 8-5? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ate off of it. You did? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I appreciate it. I didn't know that you made it. Yeah. That's why I said, y'all can't cheat on me. Y'all can't have no other person up here making y'all charcuterie now. You, like, <laughs> go together now. Okay, so is this your favorite one? Mm-hmm. Oh, you want me to, you want to do it? I ain't want to pour up too much on it. Now, I've never had goat cheese. Oh, you're going to love it. You huh? sure? Yeah, let me, you got to take some on a, let me get your, right there. Take mm -hmm. some on the side. On what, gotta, some goat cheese? Yeah, you got to eat it on the side, then eat it together. Here, let me get your little thing. Just to see. Eat it alone and then. All right. He want to be on. He want to be on the show so bad. I know that's your, that's your son that know all mm -hmm. the gangster music. No, it's, it's not my parenting. It's not my parents' DeKalb County school. Grab a um, grab a. Uh... Boy, we'll turn this mother out. All right, I'm trying your favorite one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like it. That's uh, salami. Mm. Yeah. This is a goat cheese right there. And you gotta put some honey on it. You like honey? You got some. Yes, the rose is turkey bacon. I see why, they, why this is popular. Yeah. Yeah, piece of fruit to set it off. Boom. Well, you didn't give me no blackberry. That's that's racism. No, my bad. <laughs> I was giving you my favorite bite. Mm. You like the goat cheese? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. And the blackberry hit it with just enough sweetness to to the palate, and mm -hmm. I see why this is popular amongst the community. <laughs> Tell them again how they can get in touch with you. Oh man. On uh, Instagram, garden underscore party underscore Atlanta, or www.thegardenpartyatlanta.com. Well, there you have it, folks. We've got to eat some more exotic cheeses, <laughs> pepperonis, and crackers, and breads, and fruits, and things of that nature. The Atlanta Garden Club. Club? You didn't turn it to club? Look at this. This is it right here. Oh, uh, okay. This is the club. All yeah, right, this is the club. Okay. The new late night picnic. The garden trap. Okay. Thank you. The garden trap. And I'm going to come back and teach my charcuterie class in the trap. Y'all need a DJ? Yes, we do. We really yeah. set up already. I'm perfect. And I hope you come monthly and I bring us to. some nice and keep us updated. I Next time to. you come up with something, and you need some some people to just try it out. Send it up here. Oh, she likes the sandwiches. I got you. He like vegan, vegan cheese. cheese. I got you. I feel like I feel like I went to a whole nother level. I ain't never really ate, ate cheese on the show like this. <laughs> I feel like my value just went up. <laughs> Stay tuned to the black market because the black market is over. <laughs>